So my name's Dr. Luke Vanderhoeven. I'm a GP practicing in Melbourne, Australia. I've never seen anyone with a blood result worse than that of Kyle's. His cholesterol and lipid profile were just off the charts. When I first saw his blood tests, I thought to myself, he's gonna have a heart attack. The problem was for Kyle, it was already too late. His arteries were already clogged full of plaque and changing his lifestyle wasn't gonna make a huge difference. Stopping smoking and stopping drinking wasn't going to change the fact that he was potentially going to die from cardiovascular disease. In Kyle's case, his blockages were so bad that he'd already had stents. He'd already had a stent within a stent and they were starting to block. So his options for surgery had been completely depleted already. He told me about a radical plan to infuse himself with these cyclodextrin products and he believed that they were going to actually take the plaque from his arteries and remove it. We talked about it at length and I did some research into cyclodextrins and I realized that actually they're being used quite frequently already in medicine, just not at the high doses that Kyle wanted to infuse himself with. And the more I read about them, the more I realized these could actually work. In fact, I was surprised that no one had ever tried to research them before. No one had ever tried human trials on this medication because the initial studies showed that they reduce plaque in mice, they reduce plaque in humans, so why hadn't it been extensively tested? And what was really impressive is that it took Kyle, a person who doesn't work in medicine, a person who doesn't you know, have a, a, an understanding, I don't think he even knew what atherosclerosis was before he came to see me, suddenly he'd been doing this research into this product and you know, it could potentially work. When I looked at his blood tests, everything was improving. Certainly his cholesterol, his triglycerides, all of his blood markers were improving out of sight. Perhaps the most surprising result of all was the fact that Kyle's liver function tests continued to improve despite being a heavy drinker. It was actually quite impressive. It was at this point that I realized that this medication had the potential to be a treatment for Australia's number one killer, which is coronary artery disease.